Hey guys, I am back and today I'm going to do a gear review on the LifeProof Nude case for the iPhone 5. I got this case as a way to kind of protect my phone. I'm going to be taking it on the PCT and hopefully shooting all of my photos and video with just the phone. And that's a way for me to save weight and it just kind of simplifies everything. So what I wanted was a case that would protect my phone on the trail from anything I would encounter, be it rain, snow, dirt, and dropping the phone occasionally. So what I ended up deciding to get was this LifeProof nude case. And it claims to be waterproof, dirtproof, snowproof, shockproof, all of the above. And I finally feel like I have enough experience with it to review it. I've had it, I've had it since Christmas, but I've kind of just recently been testing it a little more and I, I really like it. It actually works great. You'll see that uh, the screen that I'm touching here is the actual screen of the phone. You'll be able to see that a little better in a minute when I take the case off. But there's no screen protector like some of the other cases, like the LifeProof Free case, I think it is, F-R-E. It actually has a film that goes over the screen but this is, I mean, it's great. You can, it's just like using the phone normally. There's nothing between you, no screen protector or anything. And yet it's still waterproof. Now, as far as waterproofness goes, I haven't fully submersed the phone other than in testing. You'll see when you actually get the case, it comes with a cleaning cloth, instructions. It also comes with this little phone substitution that you can stick in the case and then submerse underwater to make sure that the case is actually waterproof and I did that and it was waterproof I only submerged it under about a foot of water based on what the case claims it can be submerged up to six feet but really I don't think this is designed to be like a full-on waterproof take this in the pool with you type of case it's really just keep the rain out keep like slight water out, snow out, stuff like that. So this isn't going to be a case that you want to take in the pool or diving or something like that with you. Certainly not going to replace a GoPro underwater. But with that said, it does shed the rain and water very well. I've tested this in the shower. I actually watched some of the Olympic curling in the shower the other day through my phone with this case and it's worked great. One thing I noticed is there was no condensation. There's a very small air gap on the black, the back plastic part of this case, and I thought maybe some condensation would show up in there, but I didn't find any. The lens stays nice and clean, and uh, it just it worked great. It kept the water out, and all of the functions of the phone remain. You can see the volume buttons here. Those are perfectly functional. The silence and vibrate button, the little switch up here, it functions well. It's a little bit tough to hit, but that's no big deal. The um, screen lock button works well. It's You have to press a little harder, but it still works fine. And the home button works just fine. It's got a little button that actually lays over the home button, so you're not pressing the actual home button, but it, I haven't noticed a difference and function works well the charging port the lightning port is accessed by just pulling back this little door here so you just kind of get your nail under it and open it up and you can see this is a little rubber gasket that sits against the door to seal it and that is probably the weakest point of the case as far as waterproofness goes because that's the only thing protecting this port from water but I've found that it works perfectly fine it's suitable for what it does and so if you were to charge the phone you just kind of plug the lightning cable right into there and it works fine only thing I've noticed is it's a little hard to get out it's hard to get a grip on the tiny little cable in there so you kind of have to hold this cable and pull out as best you can ultimately I don't think that's great for the durability of this cable I know Apple cables have a tendency to break right in here but we'll see how that works out it still still works so it's not too bad as far as headphones go to get to the headphone port 
you actually have to unscrew this little plug here. And you can see it's got an O-ring to keep the water out. And headphones can't actually plug in straight into the phone here. You have to use this adapter that was included with the kit. And you pretty much plug that in, screw it in, and now you have a watertight headphone connection. So if you have waterproof headphones, you can use those with this phone in the rain. And then you would just plug your headphones into this little jack like that and you'll be listening to your music. So the headphone port works great. If you were using this as an everyday case and you use your headphones quite often, that could be a pretty big annoyance. I don't know if I would like that. And I'm not sure really for an everyday case you really need waterproof and dustproof unless you're just an accident prone person. So if that's a big deal to you listening to your music every day with headphones, you probably don't want to use this case for every day. But out on the trail and in any outdoor situation, I think it would be a great case. Now, for the speaker, there is an actual speaker port. It's got a little bit of some type of a waterproof paper or plastic over the speaker. So it adds a little bit of a rasp to the speaker. It's not a big deal. And uh, you can still get some okay speaker music quality out of it. But if you play music often through your speakers, you're probably not going to want to use this case. It kind of degrades the sound a little too much. It's not terrible. And listening to voice is fine, like a podcast or something like that. I use the speaker all the time, and it works just fine. And one other thing regarding sound, because there's a little air gap back here, I've noticed with certain ringtones, it tends to kind of hit a frequency that vibrates and creates a rattle which it really isn't a big deal to me because this is a case I'll be using in the back country I don't really use this case every day but uh, I don't know that that could be something that someone is concerned about and it's only with a very certain frequency it kinda hits that resonant frequency and starts rattling but it's not that big of a deal again so now Camera quality, I actually, that was my biggest concern when I got this case, is what is it going to degrade the camera quality, especially filming and photos, because that's what my primary use of this phone is going to be on the trail. And I've got some footage that I shot out at Crowder's Mountain, and I'll show you. I actually couldn't really notice any degrading quality, so I'm pretty happy about that. I'll post that video at the end of... The review there and you can watch for yourself and see if you see any bad qualities due to the case I couldn't find any so to take the case off what you do is unscrew the headphone port and unplug the lightning port and then you just take a coin there it is and there's a little slot here and you put the coin in there and kind of twist it and that'll break the seal enough for you to kind of go around the phone and finish taking off the backing here. You can see it's a pretty tight connection, so it's certainly going to be waterproof enough. And there you go, there's the back of the case. It's got a gasket all inside of this little channel here to keep the water out. And here's the front of the case. There's the phone. You'll notice there is a kind of a little, you'll find smudge marks around the edge of the screen, right where the gasket on the front of the case is. And you can see here, like I was saying, there's no screen protector. It keeps the water out with this gasket that runs right around the edge of the screen. It's pretty impressive how they do that. And you can see the home button there is kind of a plastic seal. And that's the case. It's extremely lightweight. In fact, let's go ahead and weigh this here and see just how, weight, how lightweight it is. It is 1.3 ounces. So with the iPhone, you are looking at 5.3 ounces for a waterproof camera basically and video camera 
So it's really hard to beat that. That's much better than the GoPro. I can't give you an exact weight on what my GoPro is, but I know it's certainly more than that. And it's just, it can't hold enough battery to be useful out on the trail. I would have to be charging it every day. So that's the case. I really like it. I would recommend it for backpacking, shooting video or photos. I mean, you don't have to have it. Last time on the trail, I just used a Ziploc, and that was fine. However, I wouldn't be able to shoot in the rain really well with a Ziploc, so I'm hoping this will let me shoot in the rain. I'm not sure how often that'll happen, but we'll see. And yeah, it's, it's a good case overall, very lightweight. It's compact. It doesn't snag in your pocket if you carry it every day. Only cons I have found is that the audio quality is not the best with the case on. It's certainly tolerable, but you won't want to be using it for music, really. The headphone port can be a nuisance if you frequently use it. If not, that's fine. And other than that, I, I mean, it's perfect. It's hard to get a better case than that, and it's pretty impressive what they've done to take the screen protector out of that. So, I hope you enjoyed the review. Coming up right now, I will post the videos I took with the case on. Maybe, I guess I'll post both both of them. I have one on top of Crowder's Mountain and then one I just took in the snow here. So, enjoy. I'll see you later. One thing I wanted to add real quick. When you are putting on the case, you want to make sure that this seal here, there's a little clear seal. And you want to make sure that's kind of free of hair and dust. Sometimes the best way to do that is to actually stick it under a faucet and then let it dry afterwards. But any kind of hair or dust in there could kind of disrupt the seal and allow a little moisture in, which you don't want. So I just figured I would give you a heads up about that. I haven't had any problems yet, but I kind of make sure every time I put this case on just to make sure that this seal is nice and clean. Also this one, it won't hurt to go over that one as well. Make sure that's free of dust. Just a little tip I thought I'd share. Hope you enjoyed the videos and see you later.